So as you just heard, live sound engineers are really digging this new platform. And we announced the extended family last year. And now we support the needs of live sound teams for smaller venues, festivals, and very soon some of the largest theaters in the world. Because the big daddy, the S6L 48D, will be available in June. So we're really excited about this. Now, we're showing it here at NAB. And if you haven't seen it, you've got to check it out. It really is an amazing feat of engineering. It's a beautiful piece of engineering. And we'll have it on the show floor. So go see it. OK, so good news for live sound. But we're just getting started in audio. And we've got good news for in-studio sound, too. And what I'd like to do now is introduce Mr. Greg Chin, who's DJ extraordinaire and audio specialist for Avid, to come on out here and tell us where we're going for in-studio sound. Greg, come on out here. Hey, Dana. What's happening, man? How are you? All right. So I got to tell you, Greg, this is a pretty exciting time to be in audio post and pro mixing, right? It absolutely is, Dana. You know, there's an insane amount of content being created, and it's at a scale that's never before been seen. No kidding. In, in 2017, the top six movie studios together, I think, delivered about 70 films, all combined. And if you fast forward to last year, Netflix themselves released something like 80 <laughs> films. Yeah, I know. It's pretty insane. So audio facilities can't grow fast enough to keep up with that kind of a uh, demand. And at the same time, immersive audio adoption is growing really fast. So Dolby Atmos, the leader in object-based surround sound, is now available in everything from home theater to game consoles like my Xbox One X. I love nice, it. Nice, nice. And Atmos is now supported by leading streamers like iTunes, Netflix, Vudu, and Amazon Prime. In fact, uh, audio mix specifications now require 3D object-based surround sound as a standard deliverable. Mm, but if you want in on all that audio goodness, you need pristine sound, you need lots of I.O., and that's exactly what you get with Pro Tools Matrix. So our users have purchased, since the launch of it, over 1,500 systems. But our delivery of Matrix isn't just a one and done, right, Greg? No, 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 no. We've actually continued to uh, expand the capability of the Matrix since we first launched it. That's right. And we're introducing several new Matrix expansion cards right here at NAB. All right, Greg, this is exciting stuff. <laughs> Walk us through what we got here. Yeah, so there, we've got three new cards. A couple of them launched uh, late last year. And we've got a, a new one. And they're all designed to help you uh, support your audio uh, needs, your changing audio needs. I think it's really important to point out that these cards were really created because of your needs. So yes. I want to say thank you to you guys. This, this, this is uh, really awesome. So first one up, we've got our uh, Matrix SPQ card. So this card allows you to speaker tune your room for Atmos. Uh, next up, we've got our Matrix Dante card. So this card allows up to 1024 channels of audio over IP so you can easily connect all of your studios and all of your gear together in a common network. Really great card. So upcoming soon, uh, we've got our brand new Matrix DigiLink card. Ah, this is going to be cool. So this card, yeah, you can, yeah, you can clap. clap for that. That's Absolutely. all good. We'll take it. <laughs> you can totally do that. Uh, this card lets you connect uh, disparate systems with less hardware configs and at lower cost. It's really exciting stuff. Now, of course, 3D object-based surround sound also requires a level of creative control across the entire workflow, right? Yep. And our integrated platform for in-studio audio production provides it. So Pro Tools is the only solution that offers native Atmos mixing. Deep integration with our S6 control surface means users experience the most intuitive and immersive mixing workflow for modern sound engineers. Yeah, and we worked really closely with Dolby for several years to develop this integration. We sure did. And you can be confident that we're going to continue the focus on our Avid audio family. So you heard Jeff say earlier that we're not going to introduce anything that's not quite ready. This is the new Avid, and that's how we roll around here, that's right, right, Dana? Yes, that's, right. that's how we roll. That's right. So while I can't tell you exactly what's on the horizon, I can tell you that we're soon going to be expanding our family of audio offerings. Mm. There's some hot stuff coming in this summer, Dana. Well, I, I like where, the, where you're going with this, Greg, and I'm feeling like it's going to be a hot summer for in-studio audio engineers. What do you think? I feel you. It could also be the lights, but no, it's absolutely that, that right. we're going to be doing some really cool stuff this summer. Nice. So what I want you guys to do is stay tuned. Um, you know, we, we talked about Avid Link earlier. I want yep. you guys to watch the audio space here because we are going to be announcing some really cool stuff. This is going to be our super hot summer of sound. Awesome. All right. Well, Greg, thank you very much. Mr. Greg thank Chin, you. everybody. Thanks, everybody. Excellent. Thank you, Dana. Thanks, man.